Just going to try and run Jeff Henderson. Comes in field. Say challenges and fouls his man. And just before half time, there's a tall four man wall. Tongue strides up to the ball, right foot and sends it home flat. Finds the back of the net and both the trail. It's a lovely finish from Liam Tongue. He decided to avoid going up and over the wall and he went around it low. And the Klaus couldn't get anywhere near it. Four and fifth minute on the clock. And it's 1 0. Ben Ramsey getting ready to come on, I think, as the ball sent in from the corner kick, and there's a header! One wide, ball with equalised! There was a ball in from Ben Sayer, Mickey Turner was in there, I think it was an own goal uh, by the end of it, I think it came off the back of somebody, but we'll give it to Michael Turner, the score is 1-1! Well, send another one in, scored from the most recent set piece of the area, here. he'll save from the far side, swings it in, and there's a header, a goal! Continues his play forward and Mickey Turner's not really going to get on the end of this. Laos has to come out and it's a dive and head on to clear it. And it's all of a sudden it's struck for Turner. There's a real opportunity here as he goes down the line. Well, it's all at sixes and sevens at the moment as Mickey Turner comes across the time shoot at the moment. Jackson's for possession is played in field and there's Pratt with a chance to shoot! Nicely for um, Donahue, but he just um, didn't get beat the bounce there. As Regan Linney in the number nine shirt and trying to twist past two Scarborough players. A little one two here. Linney gets the ball in there and it is in the back of the net for FC United as the goal scorer walks in to the. It, it was um, Luke Griffiths there. Open goal. Regan Linney down the side. A little one two and into the back of the post. And FC United get an early lead here. And I was saying to someone earlier, I don't want us to get an early goal this afternoon because it kind of uh, especially at Hyde with the uh, weather it kind of uh, cheers them up when it's still 1-0 winding himself up for this one the ex-pilgrim here he goes looking for a ball looking for Thornton gets ahead onto it Coulson on the back post Jake there now oh handball handball and Scarborough get a penalty for Scarborough this so I think he's just had a word with the captain there Michael Coulson the captain of Scarborough will take this one uh, just um, oh, I was wondering why the referee was going over to the goalkeeper. I think it was Marie McCarrick. Telling everyone to stay where they are. He's literally gone down the line there, like a school teacher. Blows the whistle. Coulson now. Get in! Coulson, two in two, one all here at the Flamingo Land Stadium, and we're back on level terms. Cool as you like from Kulo. One all, and I, I think that's um, just desserts, really. We, we, we've um, been creeping back into this, and I think... Um, you wouldn't believe... Well, it was a bit like watching that first game when they beat us 6-0, actually, earlier on in the season at Broadhurst Park. Now, Scarborough with a nice little bit of football. Colville, edge of the box, plays it through today. Will he get there? He gets the shot away. Now, Coulson with a chance, pulls it back, surely... And it's 2-1 Scarborough, and it's Kieran Glynn, what a goal! What a great start to the second half for Scarborough Athletic. Fantastic. I'm just checking to make sure no one's offside, because you can get a little bit overexcited, but no, the goal stands, and Scarborough players celebrating in front of what looks like hundreds of people in the sunshine there, dancing and bouncing in the adversary stand, and what a start to the second half. I think um, FC got ahead onto it, but it's now um, crossed in there. Crossed the goal, there was no red shirt there. They do get the line cleared. Regan Linney get heads over to Ennis. Ennis now gets it over to Wadaka. Wadaka now, uh, oh, lovely ball to Regan Linney. Whitley's coming out here. He just chipped it in there, and it's an equaliser. A lovely counter there. And I did say we need to keep the ball away from them. And uh, it's uh, Regan Linney with a second for FC United, an equaliser. And that's when they turn it on. Yeah, it's what I said, Ant, we might need that third goal because they're going to create opportunities. And, uh, you know, that was a great finish. What a quick break. Scarborough caught short, but to be honest, we've been playing some... Four and a half, final few moments. 
of this game. We thought Scarborough might win it, and uh, they didn't with that Watson shot. That is the final whistle.